biggest misconception I have in family law matters is you get some parties who just want to have a good fight. And I'm telling you this now, if you have a good fight and you spend £20,000 on the privilege of legal representation all the way to a final hearing, just in the finances, forget even dealing with the children, that's a whole separate set of costs. Just to hear a judge tell you what your lawyer or your mediator told you right at the outset of the case the outcome would be, you'll feel a lot more demoralised than you realise. There are no winners in family law matters, there really aren't. People don't understand that it's not the same as other traditional forms of litigation. There is no winner, there is no loser. In some ways, both parties lose because the relationship's broken down and there's all the emotional issues that flow from that. So anybody who thinks, oh, well, I'll avoid mediation or collaborative law or arbitration because I want a good almighty scrap and that judge will tell my ex what they are and this, that, it doesn't happen, you'll come away feeling demoralised and depressed and you very rarely get cost orders in family law matters. So what that means is at the end of your trial, when you try to say to the judge, all oh, the other side should pay my costs, very rarely will you get them. Don't spend £20,000 on a lawyer to get all the way to a final hearing simply to get the outcome that you were told you were going to get in your first hearing. I feel sorry, your first meeting with your lawyer. <laughs> That's the truth. A lot of people think that mediators are going to be a soft touch, that we sit there and you know, we give everybody a cuddle or a soft touch. Sometimes we have to be robust and firm and strong to keep the matter on course. So it might be that you need to choose the correct mediator for you. You might want something that's a bit softer, or you might want something a bit more directional. So again, this is about making correct choices regarding mediator for you or for your client. I would say to people that have already engaged a solicitor, and have been told by the solicitor that they have to go and see a mediator in order to make an application to the court, to actually go to mediation with an open mind. Uh, mediation isn't just a tick box exercise and hopefully if you had your meeting with the mediator for what's called a mediation information and assessment meeting, it's called a MIAMS, if you meet a skilled mediator hopefully they'll persuade you to at least give mediation a go provided that you pass the screening test because it gives you the opportunity to have a dialogue with your ex, it keeps it out of court which can often keep the costs down, it means that it can be resolved much more quickly and it means you take control over your matter and your life.